Welcome back. I am here at Edwin Co. Spirits previewing their spring cocktail menu and also learning about everything they have going on for the next month. And joining me is Kristen Collins, their co-owner. Hi. Hello. We're having fun today. We are. That's right. Every day. <laughs> I know. Okay. So the next drink on your spring menu is a mint julep. Yes. It's a bit so of a fancy. classic, yeah. but we, uh, <laughs> we keep it on our spring menu. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it uses fresh mint. High rye bourbon, it's yeah. quite simple. We make our own house uh, mint syrup, but I'll talk to you about how you can do this yes. at home without going through that process. Okay, perfect. All right. So where do I get started? So we are using a highball glass, a little bit okay. shorter, mm -hmm. and we're actually going to strip our mint okay. and drop it into the bottom of the glass. So uh, at home, I would recommend, yeah, pure, kind of pinching there. Yeah, and then just okay. stripping down those leaves. And and you can na, even na, kind na, of na, hold na. like this and you'll be able to catch them at home. Yes. Yeah, and then you just gather those. All right. These are nice big leaves. They and you are. can give them a smack and that'll help release aromatics. I love that. I do this all the time. Yeah. Mint is much more delicate than celery, right? Than that yes. we used earlier. I'm dropping so it. You got it. All right. So that's enough to actually, can you start smelling it oh, now? Oh, yes. yes. I love mint. So that's all you really need to do if you're using a house infused mint syrup. Now, uh -huh. if you're not doing that, then you might want to give it a little press instead of okay. a big heavy metal. So mm -hmm. just, or if you have a regular metal, that's okay, but you're don't get aggressive. In. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You're just, just going to press and down. try to release a little bit more of that mint flavor into mm -hmm. your glass. Um, and so if you get like, heavy and carried away with it, right. it can create bitterness from the stems yes. of the over of the mint. Express. Yes, that's right. Okay. So this is two ounces of our high rye bourbon. Ooh. And then we just used about a half an ounce of our house made mint simple okay. mint simple syrup. Yum. And then we get to see the the skills again. We're you gonna know. have you beat a bag of ice here and Listen, uh, create I'm some excited. crushed ice. <laughs> So if you don't have a fancy bag at home like this, just use a Ziploc, it works well. Okay, move everything and yes. just go for it. Yes, use that right. strength. You got it. Use that strength. Good. And do a little so, flipping. Yeah. Nice. So now this is really it, okay? okay? We're just gonna really pack this glass. Believe it or not, this is gonna fill this glass once we add all of this ice. If you were to do this with regular ice, it will not fill the glass. And it's, really? it's gonna take away from the experience when you're drinking this cocktail. I've if tried you, it, it's mm -hmm. a huge disappointment when you use regular when ice. Use regular mint ice. Mint yeah. yeah, I will attest. <laughs> so just keep um, pushing that down and keep packing it down. That's what's gonna okay. really push your liquid line up. Mm -hmm. This is a spirit forward cocktail, so yes. it's gonna taste like bourbon. Um, nice. So you're gonna get that flavor. That's beautiful. And Wonderful. then that mint that we reserved earlier, yes. I want you to give it a big like smack as well oh, to again release okay. the aromatics. Yeah. Boom. And then kind of nip off. You, know, you don't need quite that Nothing. much stem. And then you're going to tuck that and your straw together because it's okay. a little easier to get Which it into straw? the The, the short is the great. Short. Okay. Yeah. You have so many options. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay, so and together. So together is easier, I've learned again, pro tip. Get it to, in that. That's right. Thing. Oh. Plus, when you go to get your drink, you're going to smell that oh, mint. Oh, yes. yes. So cute. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. Mm hmm. I love when I can like take a sip and go, <laughs> so good. I mean, cocktail that is well. Um, refreshing. I don't know. There's a theme. Spring mm -hmm. cocktails are so refreshing. They are. But as you said, booze forward. So you got to get that feel. You can taste the bourbon. You can taste the high rye in it and all of the above. Okay. Yes. Yummy. All right. So what else is happening? Yeah. Tell me what else is um, going on. So the first week of spring break, mm -hmm. we're going to take a little spring break that Saturday, but we do have a private event, not really private, okay. ticketed event, specialty event mm -hmm. that Thursday, that would be April 4th. Okay. And it is the Anthony Wayne Rotary Fundraiser. Yes. yes, so you can pay $35, uh -huh. come in that evening, enjoy some appetizers, a cocktail, cash bar after that. Okay. Um, you can pay at the door, uh, but we do also encourage you to purchase tickets in advance at mm -hmm. anthonywaynerotary.com. Um, and so it's just going to be a good good thing for a good cause. Yeah, so. I love and a good that. time. Okay, well, this cocktail is done. Now we're going to move on to a dessert. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, it's time for our final drink, yeah. but this one's a little bit sweeter, right? Yes, okay, kind of a dessert, a dessert cocktail. Yeah, we call it Bluebell. Okay. Yeah, so it's vodka-based, which okay. is a neutral spirit, mm -hmm. so very, again, easy drinking. Uh -huh. So we're going to do an ounce and a half of our vodka. Right. Ours is corn-based, would remind you of Tito's. Right. So this is two ounces, I do... Um, this would be an ounce three. and a half, so we're going to go to that line inside that line. the drinker okay, there. Okay, perfect. Yeah. An ounce and a half there. 
And then we've measured out for you, we have our uh, ounce of our house syrup. Ooh. Yeah. Nice, all right. And then ounce of cream. Okay. And an ounce of blueberry and lemon juice. Are we make it, we're Juices. making some ice cream. Yeah, okay, blueberry. yeah. Oh, okay. And then we mix it up this year. We're adding poppy seed. Ooh. So, you know, maybe it sounds weird, but think lemon poppy seed. Yeah, that's how many dashes? Two. Two dashes is great. Go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to add a little bit of texture, kind of like in a mm -hmm. smoothie. If you had a strawberry smoothie, it would have yeah. that little bit of texture. It's kind of almost like a seed in it. So okay. it's great. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to add some ice, ice to, yeah. If you use at home your shaker and mm -hmm. you treat this as a measuring tool, you can actually just fill your smaller oh, shaker yeah. and then that can be kind of a predefined amount of ice for you right you know yeah so then you're going to put your other shaker side on at an angle i have a yes. chance to you got you can do again. it you can do it and we're going to shake short here just five seconds so that we <laughs> you did it <laughs> Woo <-hoo>! Woo! <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. Okay. So there was a lot of volume that went into this cocktail. Yes. We don't need to shake it a ton. We just need to incorporate things together. Uh -huh. And then we want to go ahead and roll it. Again, roll a little it. high okay, so little you don't drip high. too much, hopefully. And if you get the drips, that's okay. That's what towels are made for. Okay, that was fun. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so time to garnish. So we have made our house infused whipped cream this year. It's oh, vodka infused. Okay. That's the important part. Uh, so yeah, so you get to use this uh, little fella. It's gonna be lots of fun. So we're it's gonna, been a while. That's okay. It's gonna, you know? We're gonna turn it all the way upside down. Yeah. Yeah. So we have our whipping cream, our house syrup. A yeah, the dollop. Beautiful. That will work. I know. If you want a little more, yeah, go like a little it. heavier. Yeah. You can actually tear these things. You can. I used to be a barista. Oh, back I'm in the impressed. Day. <laughs> Okay, All right, but this is just not pretty enough yet. Okay, so okay, we're gonna add yet. a short straw to okay, the mix, a little straw. sprig of mint. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. just a little top you can nip off just and we're gonna little. give it a little smack still, okay, give it a nice little fresh aroma. Spressive. We're gonna tuck that in and we're also gonna add just a little sprinkle of the poppy seed for okay. a little more on there. Tuck and that, like that, yeah, that'll just go right over the, oh, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah. Were, those are pro skills right there. <laughs> Oh, and there you so have it. That cute. is the Google. Oh, okay. Can't wait to taste it. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm not a dessert person. Well, right. You know, we we uh -huh. are non-sweet sea cocktail drinkers. It's yeah. actually good. It's like really this is good. dangerous. It, it is delicious. Okay. What else is going on? Yeah, so we're going to kind of wrap up our event season, so to speak, for these specialty Saturday events okay. with, uh, we we actually have another cocktail class we've added. Yes. So our cocktail, couples cocktail classes that we put on, they're hands-on. Mm -hmm. It's limited to a select number of couples and it's been selling out like crazy and yeah. it, they've been going great. We really love doing these and so mm -hmm. we've added, we've done two now. Our April 27th one is already sold out, wow. but we still have tickets for April 20th. Yeah. So jump online, edwincospirits.com. Mm -hmm. Go to our store, yeah. get your tickets. Lots of fun. I love that. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thanks okay. for coming in. But I cannot leave without doing Jessica's yes. favorite pick. I'm going to say, do, 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 do. I think the celery. Yeah, what is it yeah. Called? London like, Fog. London Fog. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that name is so amazing. And mm -hmm. then also the taste. Because it was just like something different. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about here. The cocktails are different. You can explore different um, areas of your palate, yes. of the tongue, and just really have a good time. So thank you so much, Kristen. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> we always love having you.